welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Christine and I am a student at the University of Pennsylvania. And for those of you who already know me, welcome back. As you can tell right now, I'm not in my freshman year dorm anymore. I'm actually back home in New Zealand. And that is because my freshman year has ended and I'm now officially a sophomore, which is really crazy to say. But today I just really wanted to share with you the five lessons that I learned as a freshman um, in hopes that they will be able to inspire you to make the most out of your freshman year or um, your year in general. And with that, let's just get straight into the video. Or why this time? Lesson number one, stop trying to live someone else's life. It's okay for people to share all these really happy times with the world, but at the same time, as consumers of this digital information, it's important to remember that this isn't the reality of what life actually is. People are only posting the best bits. I can confess, mom, if you're watching this, I'm sorry, but I went to frat parties, but I realized that just because everyone else was doing it, I didn't enjoy having to look after all of these drunk people. I hated being around the sweat. As the weeks went by, I realized that this isn't what I wanted to surround myself doing, and this didn't make me happy at all. So. It's okay to just sit back and say no. Lesson number two, get comfortable with yourself. Loneliness is a thing in college and it's completely fine. I remember at the start of my freshman year, I was scared to go into the dining halls by myself. Now that I have experienced my freshman year, I've traveled a lot by myself. I've gone and explored the city by myself and I've really been able to just capture all of the things that really do make me enjoy my life a lot more instead of waiting for other people and like living my life to their accord. Another thing with just being by yourself as well, I actually really challenge with my body image and um, just like eating habits, particularly with the dining halls. Every meal swipe that you use is equivalent to 17 US dollars and so I really wanted to get my money's worth. And that meant that when I went into the dining hall, at the start of the semester at least, I would just get as much food as I could but as I saw myself go through these bodily changes like gaining more weight my acne was getting worse as well I realized that just because you want to save yourself a little bit of money it's not worth it putting your body through this sort of situation lesson number three be resilient I have faced so many failures in college gotten rejected from clubs I've gotten rejected from internship opportunities work opportunities often just by the people around me it was really hard just wanting to explore all of these different avenues I'd never experienced finance before or investment but I had to fill in applications on applications and go into interviews and to me it was just really different to the way that high school clubs worked in that if you were interested in something then you would be able to join it straight away but the fact that some sort of like strict system was just preventing me from exploring what I really wanted was really disheartening for me but at the same time that also gave me a chance to reflect on what I really wanted to do not just trying to do something that everyone else was doing. You might consider it failure at first, but just looking back, those days where you just spent your time in your room crying are honestly not that worth it. Lesson number four, enjoy the little things. Yes, like academics matter, extracurriculars, your clubs, but make sure to just like take a step back, reflect, and find these small meaningful moments really special and unique to you. For example, for me, it was the sun, nature, mornings. As time went on, I definitely spent a lot more time outside of Penn and exploring the city. Please make sure to call your family often. My mum would tell me really funny stories about um, like what my dog had been doing back home, how he had been really naughty, but they were really funny. In those times when I was like really stressed, someone familiar was able to put a smile on my face. Please don't take your parents, your family, your siblings for granted. Lesson number five. Explore your boundaries, both literally and figuratively. Firstly, on the literal level, explore all of the really amazing food places. Oh my god, I love food. Um, explore the amazing like restaurants and cafes around the area. I didn't do this in my fall semester, but just nearing the end of my spring semester, I went to like Rumble and Soul Cycle with my friends, yet having the opportunity to explore the city and the history that makes Philadelphia so special. 
made it a really great experience and did release some stress outside of midterms and all of your academic pressures as well. And then on a figuratively scale, um, explore your boundaries and challenge yourself. College is also a time for you to try something new. I never thought I would be able to run a half marathon and last semester I did. It really showed me that if you just put your mind to it, focus on the end goal, you'll be able to get there. As I look back on my freshman year, the things that I really enjoyed were not necessarily, oh, like getting an A plus or an 100 in a test. Instead, it was the goals that I set for myself or the things that I didn't expect that I would enjoy to actually end up enjoying, as well as the meaningful connections that I developed with the people around me. These are the things that made my freshman year really special. And going into sophomore year, these are things that I know to look forward to. So yeah, freshman year, thank you. You were a blast, but it's time to say goodbye. And this means that we're opening a door to a new year. I can't wait for you guys to join me on my next adventure as a sophomore. But with that, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys found this really helpful and I will see you in my next video. Bye.